Hey guys, uh, welcome. I'm Carnivore Christina, a four-year carnivore who uh, used to struggle with severe endometriosis, six year of depression, and um, probably PCOS and chronic UTIs, uh, among other things <laughs> as well. So the list goes on and on. And uh, that's why I started the carnivore diet. And what exactly do I eat during a day is the topic for today. Because I've had some questions about that. So what I eat is um, today is chuck, liver and bone marrow. And why the reason why I eat chuck is because it has a lot of fat and the flavor. And why I eat liver is I, I can't. I just love liver. Uh, it's the best <laughs> taste ever when you fry it uh, so it gets like crispy. Uh, I, I used to hate liver, it made me throw up almost, but now I love it. Uh, bone marrow, because I also, it's the kind of fat that I prefer, especially together with liver, because it's, it's dry and uh, has like this mild uh, creamy flavor. And uh, yeah, how, how did I come up with this? Uh, because my, my kind of um, diet is like a, a mix of PKD, Paleo Medicina, it is a Paleo Ketogenic Diet and the, um, the Lion Diet. Because um, uh, PKD, they recommend eating liver and bone marrow or brain. Um, and the Lion Diet is eating only ruminant animals and um, salt and water so uh, you can eat like other ruminant animals if you want uh, you can eat like uh, sheep or uh, goats <laughs> or uh, bison or camels deers elks uh, or cattle so whatever you prefer i love lambs lamb bracks for example it's very tasty i would recommend that uh, if you haven't tried uh, eating that um, so yeah I started trying out eggs starting this couldn't do that it made me constipated <laughs> that's not nice so uh, I also tried raspberries and apples from my my parents beautiful garden uh, where there are no chemicals or additives but no I couldn't do that um, I've tried uh, vegetables had a reaction to that as well uh, I've tried uh, dairy uh, to keep up the uh, ketones but I get a reaction from that as well and I've had I've tried pigs so many times tried to reintroduce them and um, didn't work I've also even tried the mangalitsa pig from uh, Hungary that um, is sold there for especially people with um, autoimmune diseases but unfortunately, I can't tolerate pigs, not even the mangalitsa pig that has this long fur with, so it, it can be outside all year round. Uh, fortunately, not for me. Um, but if you can tolerate pigs, go ahead. But it's not a part of the lion diet, which was um, thought out for people with autoimmune diseases. So uh, yeah, that's what I prefer to eat. And do buy some great uh, salt to it. Uh, for once, it uh, tastes a lot better, has more minerals and stuff like that. So go with like either real salt or Celtic sea salt, deep Celtic sea salt, or um, uh, what's that other salt from Ikea called? Well, any salt that they approve of, the PKD approve of. Um, you should check them out. Uh, yeah, so those are my ideas of what to eat if you want to stay like completely healthy and strong on um, a diet like this and not get any symptoms back. You have to think about the details. And when I say symptoms or reactions, I don't mean a digestive reaction uh, that I haven't eaten it for a while. I definitely get like my my illnesses back. It's like turning on the on bottom, uh, and uh, I get longer periods. I get pain in my stomach. I get a bloated stomach. I uh, get uh, lots of symptoms like that. I've tried coffee as well. It gave me a huge headache. 
Uh, but yeah, I guess you have to find your way. Some uh, people can tolerate these things, at least starting this. But after a while, their body gets more, get more um, picky with uh, what they tolerate. So yeah, but thank you for watching. Have a great day, as always. And thank you for your support. And yeah, see you.